Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Melt Cosmetics Millennial Pinks eyeshadow palette. Another eyeshadow palette that's a Valentine's Day release, and I mean... Hello, this is absolutely stunning. I look crazy right now because I'm just gonna be upfront. I had a really difficult time working with this palette, so I created a couple different looks just to really get to know the formula of this palette and just to really see where the inconsistencies lie. So this video did not exactly turn out how I expected, so make sure you stay tuned and let's just get right into the review. So I'm going to quickly go over the general details of this palette, kind of how it swatched for me, and then I want to get straight into the demo so you can just kind of see what happened with this, basically. Why I have two different looks on, why I look like a crazy person. Anyways, this is the Millennial Pinks palette from Melt Cosmetics. It's available right now on the Melt Cosmetics website as well as the Sephora website. I purchased this from Sephora in stores this weekend. It is $58. It is an eyeshadow palette with a refreshing combination of pinks and modern and grays and as far as the packaging goes it comes in this really sleek rectangle with a little bit of a textured front and it says millennial pinks very slim very chic I really do enjoy this packaging you have a mirror when you open it up and then you reveal the ten shades I really like the layout of this palette you have the pinky shades over here and then you have your very cool toned gray shades over here I think it's an interesting mix to have these three kind of random but also I think it it adds a really cool vibe to this palette. I love that you can get all pink and then I love that you can go for a whole different vibe on the other side. So even though these aren't colors that I necessarily would go for the most, I do really enjoy this palette altogether. I think it's a kind of, I think it's a neat concept. Not something I'm super excited by because I definitely own all three of these colors and I love a good monochromatic palette. I would have loved for them to have kept that theme or added some purples or something to make it more fun just because I feel like so many people have so many grays and silvers and black. But other than that, it's a gorgeous palette. That's why I bought it. I was really, really excited for it. And by the way, it is made in the USA. Really quickly, I do want to talk about the swatches with you guys guys. So what I noticed when I swatched was that all of the matte shades definitely felt very smooth and silky. They swatched very pretty. The only thing I noticed was that uh, the color kind of changes on your arm. It just doesn't quite look like what it does in the pan. And I also noticed that there was an inconsistency in the shade itself. And sometimes with those matte shades, sometimes it would look light and then sometimes it wouldn't. There is a slight sheen in these mattes, which I think that might be what it is and why I'm noticing that color change, but I noticed it on my eyelids as well. But I think a lot of times with mattes, they'll add a little bit of silkiness and sheen to it to make it blend easier. So just something that I noticed. <laughs> As far as the shimmers go, as you can see, they are very, very soft. Uh, a lot of them are iridescent or they have like kind of a more lid topper kind of formula. I'm honestly very disappointed by this. I feel like there isn't a good shimmer in this palette and you'll see what I mean when I get into the demos. But yeah, just be aware that the five shimmers that are in this palette, not one is a really strong pigmented color. They're all kind of iridescent or sheer or more of a lid topper kind of formula and I think that's fine. I like that type of formula but for it to be in every single one of the shimmers in here is quite disappointing for me. Also, when swatching you kind of do have to press down and push it into the skin because their formula is also very flaky with these shimmer formulas. So I hate to start it off on a negative. I just want to get straight into the demo so you can kind of see what I am dealing with and what I'm talking about. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to be honest right now, this eye, I really <laughs> struggled with. So I just laid down the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. This is their newest one. I'm going to show you what I did. So I'm starting off with pink leather right here. Pink leather I'm going to apply all over my crease. Now instantly this applied much more Barbie pink light pink than I was expecting. I thought it would show up a little bit deeper on my skin tone but honestly not that big of a deal. Okay that's fine. So I'm just gonna blend this all over. I feel like there is a little bit like weird inconsistencies in this color. Like right here it looks white but it looks darker out here. Kind of I don't know oxidation or something strange. I mean it's not a bad color. It's fine. It blended on. It's just not 
the color I was expecting. To deepen, I'm going in with Flamingo Dream right here. And as you can see, this color is super duper bright, very pigmented, really fun color. And it is blending out pretty evenly as well and nice and easy. For depth, we're using Modern Love. This color is also fine. It blends out nice and easily. I'm not really struggling with it. Reblend all of this. So as far as the mattes go, I mean, they're fine. I didn't have any issues with them. I didn't think they were special by any means. But here is where I feel like things kind of went downhill with this eye. So I'm starting off with Ruby Star right here. And I put it on my finger and I was like, whoa, like this is about to be really incredible, super reflective. It looks super pigmented. Pay close attention. So I don't know if you can see that, but this shadow is a chunky mess. So the amount of fallout I'm getting, it's going everywhere. It's not sticking to my eyelid. I, I like try and kind of press it down and there's no pigmentation underneath the sparkles. It's just not a good shadow, not easy to work with. If you are looking to keep this palette and kind of aid this issue, glitter glue and using your shadow wet's going to help. But there's no reason for me to have just blended that and it all fell down here and went away. So that's when I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> Next, I'm moving into Mixed Emotions right here. The shade on the finger seems to be a bit more like of an iridescent shade. And this shade is not quite as chunky as Ruby Star. However, I don't know if you can see, but it's not really showing up on my lid. It's not sticking to my lid. You can see my lid through the shadow. It's like see-through. So again, not good. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, use the shadow wet. Personally, on my channel, I don't like using shadows wet for demos and trying to figure out the formula. Like, any shadow you use, it's going to be better if you use it wet. But when you're paying $60 for a palette, I shouldn't have to use it wet to get it to work. So this is Rose Brunch. And as you can see, it's lighter on the finger. I'm going to put that in this space. Now this shade is better than the previous two in that it's actually like sticking to my lid but again it's really really sheer. I can see my lid through it. I'm taking some of Pink Noise and I actually use a brush to apply it just because that's my inner corner color. So look what happens when I pick up on a brush. Again you're getting that weird like chunkiness. So when you tap it off you get this nice iridescent color but Again, it's a really, really chunky color. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try a different route with this eye makeup. But, um, it's... No. No. So, since my first experience with this palette was not good, I'm going to really play with these colors. So, <laughs> I'm going to do two different eye looks. So, for this eye, I'm going to kind of retry some of those pinker colors and then this eye I want to play with the more cool tone side of the palette so we're going to start off with some of pink leather and flamingo dream and I'm going to blend these together so I haven't had problems these two colors so so far these are fine so normally I don't like to do like two separate looks in a review video <sighs> That first look I did, I'm really worried. <laughs> I really feel like I need to give these shadows a chance. And we're gonna go more smoky here. We're gonna go back into Modern Love right here. Again, another shade that hasn't given me difficulty. Run this down here. And let's get back into playing with these shimmer colors. So I'm gonna completely bypass Ruby Star. This shadow is literally terrible. And we're gonna retry Mixed Emotions and Rose Brunch. So I'm going to take some of Mixed Emotions and we're going to see how this looks with a brush. I felt like Big Ruby Star took over the whole show in the last look. So I want to see how this looks alone. So, no! This just doesn't look good. Do you guys see that's just not a smooth application at all? It's like chunky and patching up and wiping away. So, I mean, when I'm punching it in with a finger it's not as like chunky anymore and if you take a step back like that's a pretty look but this is not a good quality shadow guys okay we're gonna try rose brunch again i mean same thing in that it's like sheer and patchy kind of honestly looks the same as mixed emotions as well 
And honestly, it's literally like almost the exact same shadow as Mixed Emotions, just a little bit more reflective. Okay, I'm gonna take some of Pink, pink Noise. I'm gonna pat this in here. So, I mean, overall, like, it, this is a pretty nice, soft look, but these shadows are not good quality. So, I'm gonna play around with the darker side of this palette, maybe see if we can make something work. I did not anticipate this review to go this way. So, I have not yet used these last three shadows, so this look is about to be dark. I'm gonna take just a little bit of pink leather, though, to kind of work as a transition kind of tie it along with the theme that we have going on here okay let me back up i'm gonna take gf right here i'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush i'm not expecting to have problems with this color let's get ready for an intense look i'm gonna kind of blend this out with another brush this is one of the brushes i used for the pinks over here we're just gonna blend that gray out it's kind of creating with that pink a little bit more of a purpley eye which i kind of like like it's turning the color almost periwinkle dark shadows like this are very intimidating i feel like this is doing an okay job and now we're gonna mix in euphoria right here which is the black i'm gonna put that right in the outer corner whoo that's quite black Oh my gosh, that is really, really, really black. This is the type of black that I wouldn't use to like smoke out a look because it's almost too black, too intimidating, but I would most definitely use it for eyeliner. Holy black out. All right, now we're gonna take some of Moon Glow. I'm nervous to see how this shadow... This is pretty almost still like more of a lid topper i would say uh, and it does have that weird glittery sheer formula in this particular case it works like i think it's actually kind of pretty it's not like a good silver shadow though this is pretty it's a pretty lid topper i, I like it with this look it creates a really pretty galactic look but again this shimmer formula it's just not that good so i'm gonna finish these eyes and I'll be back with my final thoughts on this palette. All right, so I'm back. As you can see, I didn't even play around with fake lashes or anything. I just kind of completed the look with some mascara and put the rest of my face products on because quite honestly, I just really don't like this palette. I just don't think that it is worth the money. Now, I have to admit, I am really loving this eye look specifically. I think both individually, they look fine. And this eye in particular is absolutely stunning. But there are 10 shades in this palette and these three working great does not justify the $60 price that it is. Something that I would like to note because I did just film my swatches and I kind of touched on this in the demos that I noticed like the matte shadows, it almost looked like when I applied it, they got lighter or they were darker in some places. Some parts were like oxidizing. I don't want to say patchy because there wasn't a problem as far as the mattes go with like my skin showing through and some parts disappearing. It was more so it looked like the matte themselves were kind of different shades on the lid and you can even tell I don't know if you can see but as I was swatching I really felt like I could see it kind of showing up different colors in the pan do you see how I swatch it and it gets lighter and then I felt like as I was swatching them on my arm I did notice that slight color change that I noticed when I was applying it on my eyes but I just thought it was just a me problem when I was applying it on the eyes but no like that was happening while I was swatching as well on my arms so I mean overall I would say though that the mattes work pretty good in this palette. In particular, the Euphoria shade, that black shade, it is so black on your eyes and it's not too difficult to work with. But generally speaking, I do like the mattes. I feel like these two especially show up a little bit more different on your eyes than in the pan. They almost show up more brighter and pigmented, which is great, but it's just a little bit of a different shade and just that weird slight thing that I noticed. But I don't think it's that noticeable since I'm the person applying it. That's why I notice it. But the shimmers in here are just not there. The only 
one that I really like is Moon Glow and this silver because I mean honestly it is stunning but there is not a shimmer in here that is consistently even and pigmented on the eyelid. They're all that kind of iridescent sheer glitter formula but it's not even done that well. The only one that I would argue that is done well is Moon Glow and then you have these three shades which are more iridescent kind of shades but it's not necessary to have 30% of the palette be an iridescent lid topper kind of shade. You need some pigmentation within the shimmers as well. And I'm all for a glittery lid topper, but I just, it's an odd mixture for a palette. It makes it incomplete and more difficult to make a look. And this ruby star color is just flake city. It is not good. And even these three shades honestly are kind of flaky. They're just not as flaky as Ruby Star. But no, like this palette is not good. I can't recommend it to you guys. I'm not saying that you can't get pretty looks with it, but personally I just don't think it's worth all of the fuss of getting to apply it for $60. There are so many better palettes that have come out for this time of year that just work better and apply better. And I don't know, honestly, I really can't recommend this to anybody. I'm sure there are some some of you that purchased it and really enjoyed it and that's great I really hope you do have a better experience than I did but personally for my channel I cannot recommend it for you guys it's just not a good palette the proof is in the pudding you saw what I was working with they have other great palettes that's what I am so confused by like the smoke sessions palette and the Gemini palette those are great the shimmers do not work like these, these I feel like are a whole different formula and they just didn't do a good job with it sorry guys it was such a negative review but I just have to be honest so but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I really hope you found it helpful. If you've purchased this palette, let me know if you've had the same struggles that I have or if you've really enjoyed it and what works for you as far as application. If you have any tips that might help somebody who purchased this palette, put it down below. I will pin your comment. So anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.